into the week of May 3rd through the 9th. Here are some updates for this week. At 6 p.m. on Tuesday the 5th, the City Council will meet in room 140 in the City Offices building. The public is invited to attend and for those who are unable to make it in person, we'll be broadcasting the meeting live right here on Channel 17. On Wednesday the 6th, the Planning Commission will meet. The meeting agenda can be found online at SpanishFork.org. Saturday the 9th at 9 a.m., Spanish Fork residents are invited to meet on Main Street to plant thousands of flowers for the Adopt a Planter event. Simply show up, grab a flower, and start planting. Gardening tools will not be provided. Monday the 4th, Summer Track Club begins at 5 p.m. at the Maple Mountain High School track. There will be a parent meeting that same night at 6 p.m. Tuesday the 5th, the Spanish Fork 4th grade track meet will take place at the Spanish Fork High School track. The meet will begin at 9.20 a.m. and will run until it's done. Make sure to bring plenty of water and sunscreen. Summer recreation and swimming registration information can be found online at SpanishFork.org. The tennis courts will be closed Wednesday the 6th through Monday the 11th, so make sure to get out and play while you can. Friday the 8th is the Colt League regular registration deadline for 9th through 11th graders. Regular registration runs from May 2nd through the 8th, and the fee for regular registration is $60. More information can be found online at SpanishFork.org. The Phoenix League softball regular registration deadline falls on Friday the 8th as well. The Phoenix League is open to 10th through 12th grade girls. More information on the Colt and Phoenix Leagues can be found online at SpanishFork.org. At 3.30 on Monday the 4th, Spanish Fork Baseball will take on Springville. We'll be broadcasting that game live right here on Channel 17. Also on Monday the 4th, the Nebo Superstars track meet will take place at 10 a.m. Tuesday the 5th, Spanish Fork and Springville Baseball will face off again at 3.30 p.m. Maple Mountain Baseball will take on Grantsville on Tuesday the 5th. The game begins at 3.30 p.m. This game will be broadcast live right here on Channel 17. And on Thursday the 7th, Spanish Fork Softball will play Springville at 4 p.m. Remember to stay tuned to Channel 17 for all things high school sports. For those of you looking to watch Channel 17 on the go, we'd like to remind you of our YouTube channel and our new live streaming feature through sfcn.org. All of our original content is uploaded straight to YouTube so you can catch up on your favorite shows anytime, anywhere, even on your mobile devices. Our channel can be found at youtube.com forward slash Spanish Fork 17. If you want to watch live but aren't near a TV, check out the new live streaming feature by heading over to sfcn.org and clicking on the red banner near the top of the web page. That's it for this week. If you would like to promote an event or if you have a story fit for the news, email us at news at sfcn.org. Thank you for watching Spanish Fork 17. I'm Natasha Lockhart. Have a great week. Welcome to the week of May 10th through the 16th. Here are some updates for this week. Starting Monday, the Main Street Project begins. Community events designed to help the community understand the proposed change to Main Street will take place Monday through Saturday. Monday the 11th at 5 p.m. there will be a barbecue with the mayor at the city park behind the library. Tuesday the 12th from 1 to 5 p.m. the public is invited to drop in on the city offices to ask questions and give input about the proposed changes. Wednesday the 13th from 3.30 to 5.30 p.m. there will be a walking workshop where Spanish Fork residents will be shown in person what the proposed plans would accomplish. To participate in this event, meet at the city park behind the library on Main Street. Thursday the 14th from 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. there will be a community open house and presentation at the city park. Please make sure to attend at least one of these events to get up to speed on how the proposed changes would affect your community. Monday the 11th and Tuesday the 12th are recycling pickup days. On Tuesday the 12th there will be a meeting held to discuss the proposed new city facilities. The public is invited and encouraged to attend. The meeting will take place at Larson Elementary from 7 to 8 p.m. Saturday the 16th the South Utah Valley Animal Shelter is holding an event fit for the whole family called Celebrate Your Pet from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. More detailed information on the activities can be found online at suvas.com.
Saturday the 16th at 9 a.m., Spanish Fork residents are invited to meet on Main Street to plant thousands of flowers for the Adopt a Planter event. Simply show up, grab a flower, and start planting. Gardening tools will not be provided. Tuesday the 12th, the Spanish Fork 5th grade track meet will take place at the Spanish Fork High School track. The meet will begin at 9.20 a.m. and will run until it's done. Make sure to bring plenty of water and sunscreen. Monday the 11th is the Spring Soccer Awards evening for boys and girls soccer grades 3 and up. The event will take place at 5.30 p.m. at the Sports Park West Pavilion. Prizes and drawings will be awarded. Also on the 11th, registration opens for summer tennis lessons and summer camps. More information can be found online at reconline.spanishfork.org. Wednesday the 13th, registration for the 2015 Youth Arts Festival begins. The Youth Arts Festival is a two-week course designed for children from ages 3 to 18 to experience everything from dance to Lego art to photography and more. To register, either visit the Parks and Rec office in person or go to reconline.spanishfork.org to register online. Thursday the 14th is the early registration deadline for the Start Smart Baseball Camp. The camp is designed to prepare four to five year olds for baseball and softball. Parents interact with their children throughout the entire event and help teach their kids different skills. More information about this fantastic event can be found online at SpanishFork.org. Thursday the 14th is the Utah County Youth Lacrosse Early Registration Deadline. More information can be found online at reconline.spanishfork.org. Spanish Fork and Maple Mountain High Schools will be participating in state tournament baseball and softball this week starting Tuesday. Channel 17 will be there to cover those games. We wish both the Dons and the Golden Eagles the best of luck. For those of you looking to watch Channel 17 on the go, we'd like to remind you of our YouTube channel and our new live streaming feature through sfcn.org. All of our original content is uploaded straight to YouTube so you can catch up on your favorite shows anytime, anywhere, even on your mobile devices. Our channel can be found at youtube.com slash spanishfork.17. If you want to watch live but aren't near a TV, check out the new live streaming feature by heading over to sfcn.org and clicking on the red banner near the top of the web page. That's it for this week. If you would like to promote an event or if you have a story fit for the news, email us at news at sfcn.org. Thank you for watching Spanish Fork 17. I'm Natasha Lockhart. Have a great week. Welcome to the week of May 17th through the 23rd. Here are some updates for this week. Tuesday the 19th at 6 p.m. the City Council will be meeting in room 140 of the City Office Building. As always, the public is encouraged to attend the meeting in person, but for those unable to make it, we'll be broadcasting it live right here on Channel 17. On Monday the 25th, Memorial Day, there will be a ceremony honoring veterans. It will take place at 10.30 a.m. in the cemetery. Monday the 18th, registration begins for youth fall sports. Registration can be done online at reconline.spanishfork.org or in person at the Parks and Rec office. Tuesday the 19th is the Youth Sports and Fitness Program early registration deadline. This two-week long program is designed to teach the fundamentals of several popular sports as well as basic fitness. More information on dates and times can be found online at spanishfork.org. For those of you with children registered to play t-ball or coach pitch baseball, games are scheduled to begin on Tuesday the 19th. Game schedules can be found online at SpanishFork.org. Tuesday the 19th, the Spanish Fork 6th grade track meet will take place at the Spanish Fork High School track. The meet will begin at 9.20 a.m. and will run until it's done. Make sure to bring plenty of water and sunscreen. Thursday the 21st is the early registration deadline for adult tennis lessons. Lessons will run for four weeks. More information can be found online at SpanishFork.org. The 21st is also the deadline for tennis lessons for ages 10 and under. Again, more information can be found online at SpanishFork.org. Thursday is also the Central Utah Tennis League early registration deadline. This league is open to intermediate and advanced players ages 8 to 14. More information can be found online. 
Spanish Fork and Maple Mountain High Schools will be participating in the baseball and softball state tournaments. We wish both the Dons and the Golden Eagles the best of luck. For those of you looking to watch Channel 17 on the go, we'd like to remind you of our YouTube channel and our new live streaming feature through sfcn.org. All of our original content is uploaded straight to YouTube, so you can catch up on your favorite shows anytime, anywhere, even on your mobile devices. Our channel can be found at youtube.com slash Spanish Fork 17. If you want to watch live but aren't near a TV, check out the new live streaming feature by heading over to sfcn.org and clicking on the red banner near the top of the web page. That's it for this week. If you would like to promote an event or if you have a story fit for the news, email us at news at sfcn.org. Thank you for watching Spanish Fork 17. I'm Natasha Lockhart. Have a great week. Welcome to the week of May 24th through the 30th. Here are some updates for this week. Monday the 25th is Memorial Day. At 10.30 a.m. on Memorial Day, there will be a Memorial Day program in the Spanish Fork Cemetery. Visitors will have the opportunity to walk through 1,500 flags and crosses honoring the veterans buried there. We'd like to take a moment to thank all the active duty military and veterans for their service and sacrifice for this country. Also, due to Memorial Day, all city offices will be closed. The Play Unplugged program, a program dedicated to promoting a healthy and active lifestyle that runs from Memorial Day to Labor Day, begins Monday. More information can be found online at SpanishForkSalemUnplugged.com. Tuesday the 26th and Wednesday the 27th are recycling pickup days. The Spanish Fork Treasures of the Trail, a multi-week celebration highlighting the greatest features of Spanish Fork, continues this week. Be sure to visit SpanishFork.org for more information and stay tuned to Channel 17 for coverage of all the activities going on right now in your community. High school baseball and softball teams have been battling for the title of state champion. We'd like to congratulate the teams from both Maple Mountain and Spanish Fork High Schools for their fantastic seasons. We'd also like to congratulate all the high school seniors graduating this week and wish them luck in their future endeavors. Thursday the 28th is the registration deadline for the Central Utah Tennis League. This league is for intermediate and advanced players only. For more information, visit SpanishFork.org. The tennis courts will be closed from Friday the 29th through Monday, June 1st, so make sure to get out and play while you can. The early registration deadline for the boys' baseball camp is on Friday the 29th. This camp, operated by the Spanish Fork High School baseball coaching staff, is open to boys ages 8 through 15. Pricing and scheduling information can be found online at SpanishFork.org. For those of you looking to watch Channel 17 on the go, we'd like to remind you of our YouTube channel and our new live streaming feature through sfcn.org. All of our original content is uploaded straight to YouTube so you can catch up on your favorite shows anytime, anywhere, even on your mobile devices. Our channel can be found at youtube.com forward slash Spanish Fork 17. If you want to watch live TV but aren't near a TV, check out the new live streaming feature by heading over to sfcn.org and clicking on the red banner near the top of the page. That's it for this week. If you would like to promote an event or if you have a story fit for the news, email us at news at sfcn.org. Thank you for watching Spanish Fork 17. I'm Katina Burt. Have a great week. Welcome to the week of May 31st through June 6th. Here are some updates for this week. Tuesday the 2nd at 6 p.m. the City Council will be meeting at 6 p.m. in room 140 of the City Office Building. As always, the public is encouraged to attend the meeting in person, but for those unable to make it, we'll be broadcasting it live right here on Channel 17. 
Wednesday the 3rd, the Planning Commission will meet. The agenda for that meeting can be found online at SpanishFork.org. The Little Miss Spanish Fork pageant will take place Thursday the 4th and Friday the 5th. For more specifics, visit SpanishFork.org. The Spanish Fork High School baseball camp for boys ages 8 to 15 takes place Monday the 1st. Also on Monday, adult tennis lessons, preseason swimming, morning and evening water aerobic classes, 10 and under youth tennis sessions, and youth sports and fitness summer games begin. Please visit either SpanishFork.org or RecOnline.SpanishFork.org for more information. Saturday the 6th is Huck Finn Day. The event will begin at 9 a.m. at Canyon View Park. Many trout will be planted and prizes galore will be awarded for a variety of categories. Participants are invited to dress as Huck Finn or Becky Thatcher. More information can be found at SpanishFork.org. For, th for those of you looking to watch Channel 17 on the go, we'd like to remind you of YouTube channel and our new live streaming feature through sfcn.org. All of our original content is uploaded straight to YouTube so you can catch up on your favorite shows anytime, anywhere, even on your mobile devices. Our channel can be found at youtube.com forward slash Spanish Fork 17. If you want to watch live but aren't near a TV, check out the new live streaming feature by heading over to sfcn.org and clicking on the red banner near the top of the web page. That's it for this week. If you would like to promote an event or if you have a story fit for the news, email us at news at sfcn.org. Thank you for watching Spanish Fork 17. I'm Natasha Lockhart. Have a great week.